was you know what? community should begin to look at this situation. It's no longer the governors, it's no longer the, the elected people. But if this is the level of impunity, what about the fate of the common man, the ordinary, the ordinary person? I think something must be done in respect to the, the Nigerian police that are funding with the taxpayers' money. I think, uh, I think, uh, Something, something needs to be done, not only in this state, because many of us were afraid when we saw this kind of thing. So if it's happening to the governor who has immunity, what about people who don't have immunity? So very soon, maybe you will see people uh, start arresting people, uh, arresting people uh, in their houses. So I wonder what is really happening. I think the president must intervene in this, on this issue. Don't you think really police, but, but the police are controlled by people, by higher authorities. So if that is uh, what is happening, I think people should collectively call for the, tri for the resignation of the Inspector General of Police. He's the highest head of, he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the leader, he's the, he's the highest uh, uh, police officer, he's the highest ranking police officer. So we should believe that he's taking instruction from 
from the, uh, the, the police commissioner has taken the first one from the inspector general of police. For this level of impunity, I think the National Assembly, they have called for, should start calling for the resignation of the inspector general, not even commissioner of police. Thank you, sir. I think to say the least, uh, that was quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. Because um, we were coming from inspection of projects, you know, um, more than 70 former speakers were in the governor's entourage to inspect projects, you know. And then uh, on our way back to the government house, we discovered that uh, we just couldn't pass because the road had been blocked. And we were wondering, of course, uh, what was happening. We need to discover that uh, it was um, a group of policemen uh, well, who claimed to be acting on the, on the instruction of the CP, the Commissioner of Police here in uh, River State. And uh, it was quite you know, unfortunately that I will repeat, because uh, you will wonder why such a thing will happen. Freedom of movement is guaranteed under the Constitution. And a situation where you are now being compelled without any justifiable reason. And then you just couldn't, you were just not allowed to pass, despite all entreaties, all appeals made to that effect. And then we felt that as responsible citizens of this country, need to maintain peace. So to that extent, we were forced at the end of the day, you know, to do a detour, as it were, you know, find some other route to get to the government house. And I, I was just, you know, wondering within me that, uh, you know, how and when did we descend so low in this country? To the point that uh, we're beginning to witness this kind of thing. It's, 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 really, it's really sad. It's really sad. You know, I, I mean, I feel so sad about it. And uh, I just hope that uh, uh, those concerned, particularly the police high command, uh, will really you know, ensure that uh, this kind of thing doesn't happen again. Uh, well, we wait and see you know, what actions will be taken, no, because I can assure you that. Uh, this, 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 this will have gone all over the place. You know, Nigerians will be reacting. You know, we came in here to have a, a, a meeting of uh, former speakers and uh, just part of, uh, 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 on account of a uh, uh, courtesy visit to the governor, you know, and, uh, we were just, uh, uh, so, you know, we decided to just see what's happening. Within the, within the, within the product of city. Uh, this is what we saw. Thank, Thank you. you.